Alrighty, folks, we have been answering questions related to Unity, and uh, we've got a bit of a different question coming in from uh, Kate and Kian, who were wondering about uh, an export they have done from Magic Voxel. And they are asking whether it is possible to set the DPI of the export uh, in Magic of Oxhole. Uh, DPI is referring to the dots per inch, basically the resolution of the image being created. They have a specific need because they want to use it in the game Terrarium. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I don't think there is an option to set the resolution of an export from of a 2D image from Magic of Oxhole, which means that you're probably going to have to do it inside of some other type of image editing software. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that in the GIMP, which is a free open source solution that you can use. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to find a similar solution in whatever software that you're using. So let me fire up the GIMP here. And then I'm going to grab the uh, image that you've supplied, which is a PNG image. And I'm just going to drag it on in here into my editor. So here we go, I'm going to drag it on in. Uh, I am going to keep the RGB profile. There we go. And there's our image. Now, if we want to double check on the resolution in here, in the GIMP, we're going to go to image. And uh, we're actually going to go to the print size right here. Okay. Now, first off, it's set to millimeters. So I'm going to switch that to inches, since we're talking about dots per inch right here. And um, so now we can see that we've got, uh, you know, a, a true width and height of 2.13 inches. I'm going to go ahead and change the DPI here to pixels per inch, just like that. And just as you were indicating, Kate, uh, it's like 300 DPI in here, or 299.9 basically. Um, so to change this, we are actually able to go ahead and change it here inside of the X and the Y resolution. So you were mentioning that you needed 72 DPI, so I'm going to go ahead and switch that over and I'll hit the tab again, which is also going to change it to 72. Now when I hit OK, we're not going to see a visual difference here, but the resolution will in fact be changed. So there we go. So to prove that, I'm going to go ahead and export this. I'm going to say export as, and we're going to make it a PNG, and I will call this my changed resolution just like that and I'm going to save it on the desktop exporting it um, now in the GIMP you'll notice that there's an option here save resolution and I want to make sure that that's selected okay and then I can also uh, make sure that the save background color is selected which in this case is going to preserve the transparency of the background here and I'll hit the export there we go okay so now I'm going to close out this image so I'm just going to go uh, close all, close all, do, 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 do. close all right there, discard the changes, there we are, okay, so now let's grab this uh, new image we've created and drag it in, and then to check the resolution, we are once again going to go to the image, and uh, we'll take a look at the print size right here. You can see once again it's set it to millimeters, so we're going to switch that back to inches. And we're going to make sure the DPI is also set on inches. And there we go. So we've got 72 DPI in both the X and the Y resolution, which means we should be in pretty good shape right now. So hopefully that's what you guys were going for. It was a little bit difficult to tell exactly without seeing um, the, the software that you're using. But that is how I would expect to do it in the GIMP. And I imagine whether you're using Photoshop or Affinity, uh, you'll find similar options in there as well. 
So hopefully that moves you in the right direction there, guys. I'll look forward to seeing all that cool artwork that Kian's been making. And I will talk to you soon. Timbot out.